Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back. For about mm, a week or so, I lost my phone. During that week, a whole bunch of stuff happened. Real life. You know how it goes. It just interjects sometimes. I got a few people who I know have that problem. Anyway, um, I'm going to be doing this in multiple cuts, and I'm going to be doing a voiceover this video. So, if things seem like they're jumping, um, well, that would be because they are jumping. I'm... So, guys, here's the voiceover section. Uh, stay tuned at the end of the video, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. Here we are, voiceover section. Um, I'm recording this like a month after I recorded the video. First thing I do, since I'm not on Steam and I'm clearly not using the uh, .exe client, um, I load mods because you have to load mods if you want your mods. Um, note that I show in the menu the mods list is the second from the bottom. Now, when it's done loading the mods, as you can see, it lags a bit. Now, there's this new listing called key bindings. It's third from the bottom. That's one of the mods. It's actually at the bottom of that first page, if you were looking. Now, I open my storage. I grab a mining guild permit, uh, my steel pickaxe, my forging hammer, and my chisel, which is, of course, my common loadout for the mining guild. I'm also going to check my island in a minute, demonstrate some uh, performance tips for you, and then uh, execute the performance tips uh, to actually demonstrate them uh, on my way to the mining guild. But I'm also going to show you guys where to mine iron. Um, you don't need combat, and it does not require a steel pickaxe. You can use a steel pickaxe, and I'll basically just show you the difference. Here comes the performance tips section. Um, we start off, here's my island, I'm clearly in full screen mode, it's 29 cubed. 29 by 29. Um, that's my view distance, not my island size. I'm going to go ahead and point out, you know, okay, here's this big background. Uh, island expands to the right, not left, by the way. So, for those of you interested, um, I start off toggling full screen. That's a common trick on mobile. On mobile, you do that so much just to get rid of that little arrow and the home button and the window button on the right side of the screen because it just pops up every single time you chat and you got to toggle it. Another useful trick for it is the farming queue. Um, mobile doesn't really have much use for keybind. I myself don't actually use keybinds, so I don't really feel the loss from that one. But mobile has to toggle full screen in order to get the farming queue to display properly. Now, I'm not sure if it actually modifies its display in this video or not. Someone feel free to can feel free to just jump around in the video and comment. I don't really feel like looking into it but it does now i'm trying to toggle the smoother interface uh, by larial um which is a integrated third-party mod uh funnily enough here i actually get it working <laughs> this is what it actually looks like and that's without it now obviously if i'm recording i'm not wanting smoother interface because smoother interface is not as bold. I want you guys to be able to read what's going on. Um, if you right click or long press on mobile, uh, you can check the market sales, the market uh, buys, that type of stuff. None of this stuff is actually still in my market except for Teleport Revolve for 2200 and the three watering cans which I sell to NPC so that you people don't have to. Freeze up your time, you can spend more time earning experience, and I earn a little bit of coin for it. Now I'm going to demonstrate why it's a bad idea to be using full screen mode um, when you're traveling, unless you can handle it. Like if you're not recording. 
I'm recording, so for me it's a bad idea on this. Clearly, I can do it a little, you know, 7x7, seven seven, no problem. So I go full spectrum opposite end, full screen mode. I'm seeing this lag. This is not just your end. This is my end. Okay, clearly, I don't like it. So I go straight out of full screen, drops me right back into 13x13, 13 13, and you can see there's still some lag, but it gets me some good distance. And at one point, uh, I think after I try and go back, I try the arrow keys. Um, that's the mining guild right there. Yeah, here I try and go back, and I cut here, and I cut back in. Um, okay, I'm back at door pat. You guys recognize this. And so here I go off to walk my way over to the mining guild and of course the skeleton dungeon to show you guys iron. And now I'm just going to switch over to 7x7 seven because, seven you know, I know it. Here I'm trying arrow keys. And it's the same as the WASD, which, as you can see, for my computer, it's just not powerful enough. So I'm switching to using the mouse to move and the auto pathing system, which is done by the server, not my computer. Much, much easier for my computer to handle it, but it still lags when I'm in the full screen mode uh, mod. Because it's 29 by 29. It's got to load all that, process it, whole nine yards. So there's the skeleton dungeon on the right. There's the mining guild on the left, or miners guild as it's officially named i open up my mini map you can see point of interest skeleton dungeon point of interest miners guild requires mining guild permission and 65 mining if you have your mods loaded you also have a world map which at the time of recording looks like this um, if you look in the legend up in the top left uh, below my health you will see there's letters and numbers corresponding to Dungeon 1 and Dungeon 2. Each entrance has its own set of layers that you can descend into. The deepest, of course, being uh, Titan, Minotaur, and Blood Eagle, which is in the Minotaur Dungeon, which leads all the way to Dungeon 4. Um, and then double backs to Dungeon 3. As you could see, there was all that, but there's a few areas not on the world map. That's because it's a third-party mod. Um, the, the world map is. The mini-map is not. That's part of the game. So the mini-map is functioning, but if it doesn't have a point of interest, it won't have like the find function for um, the, the mods, the chat command mod. And here I'm inspecting the uh, iron vein and iron, and thought that it mentioned the steel pickaxe in the inspect, so it kind of threw me for a loop. I inspect the iron vein again, like, hey, where's the steel pickaxe mentioned? And I don't see it. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, it doesn't mention it in the tooltips, it's not on the inspect. You can inspect a lot of things on here. So I inspect this one, I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> the mod Cantus kicked someone which just sends them back to the login screen. So I'm like, okay, well, the drops are still different. So I check drops, and you can see we have iron, iron vein, and clearly there's a difference. There's about a 0.05% difference in the no loot. And you can see steel pickaxe, level 25 mining to equip it. Um, at first, I check wiki craft, which was a bad idea because I returned everything but if you look at the scroll bar on the right uh, I guess it was supposed to get smaller but it didn't um, iron can't mine a vein that's the big difference you can't mine a vein so I'm like okay confound this let's try something like real <laughs> something much narrower that we can actually look at in high detail. And so we end up with this. And it's just fill in the blanks. Check the wiki, craft, skill, mining, level 25 to 25. Go. Okay, there you go. And let's... Uh, this is where I realized that I also brought up uh, silver. 
but this is why people pick veins. You'll notice it's a, uh, I end up settling on sapphire for the gem, which is mine from silver. But I sort by craft name, and clearly you can see there's only two superior grades. And uh, I'm looking at the medium grades, and I'm showing uh, silver and silver ore don't have a difference. Silver vein does. And you can see in the check drops uh, in the chat below exactly what that difference is as far as actually like affecting your drop rate, the experience, all that. Keep in mind I'm pretty high level mining so you're probably not gonna have 86, 87 percent chance to mine iron. I'm, I'm like I think mining's actually my highest stat. I'd have to look. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm working my way back to the ladder so that I can head over to the mining guild and show you guys why the mining guild is actually pretty awesome. Most people, they unlock the mining guild and their first thought is, what? I did all this work for this? Why? <laughs> um, if you try and use the ladder and it says, I think I'm missing something, you need the mining guild permission equipped. Um, it equips in your right hand, and to equip it requires level 65 mining. It's sold in Cessus and Hell. I recommend Cessus because you can get there without any combat whatsoever, all the way from door pack. You go around the north uh, east side of the Minotaur maze, and that gets you into Revol without combat. Then you go to the middle northeast section of Revol map. That takes you to Cessus. You can dodge all the monsters along the way. Big open area. Here in the Mining Guild, we have uh, Miner's Guild. We have tin, copper, iron, iron vein coal and coal vein. You can see there are graphical differences. There's also a furnace and an anvil. You can inspect, of course, both of those. Um, you can also, you may have noticed, check drops on the furnace. It's a long list and on mobile it actually takes up the entire chat history. At the bottom is the vial chances for alchemy. Now, you'll notice there's a lot of jewelry on this list. Um, I'm going to look into the flints in a moment because that was a recent addition um, as of around Halloween. Um, you can feel free to check the update notes. It's on the home page. It's also mentioned in the news section to the side when you're logging in. If you see that, um, my phone doesn't see that, but my computer does, obviously. So I'm showing off, you know, okay, there's different levels for actually crafting the flints, and there's different rates for the flints, uh, red hoodium being the best. Now here we have Kalanite Clay. That is exclusive to the Jewelry Guild. Um, also the uh, boxes, it's just like in games like RuneScape where you have a box set. It is all the items listed all in one item so that you can transport it, sell it, the whole nine yards, easily. Um, the Kalanite Flint Mold Box is three in one, if I recall, but the R is seven in one. I know that one. That one's seven in one. Um, so here I have my recording channel. No one responded, so I'm guessing no one actually was listening. <laughs> um, again, month out of date for the voiceover compared to the actual recording. But yeah, that's everyone currently in it, uh, give or take. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and actually craft a steel bar for you guys. Uh, here's one of the other channels that I'm in, WUG. <laughs> You're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> oh, 
I think I know where they were talking about. I think they were talking about like maybe submitting some better images. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna make you guys a steel bar and show exactly why this place is actually as amazing as people make it out to be. You know, all the advanced players who actually know their stuff know that the mining guild is good straight into like mining or not mining, uh, forging level sixty because you can make all the iron watering cans, which is the best experience uh, per bar for iron. You can make those uh, forging 20 all the way through forging 60 and just mine it all here, smelt it, and take it right over the anvil, make a whole bunch of watering cans, mine some more, and smelt it, take it right back over to the anvil again. You don't need the chest every time. Now, some people argue... Uh, yeah, here's how you, you smell, of course. <clears throat> Equip the ores, and it makes a bar, and check wiki craft, and there's all kinds of different uses, including arrows. Good God, the arrows. Um, plate mail doesn't really bounce back after iron. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff. For steel, the best forging experience is... Uh, steel helmets. Now, for best coin, um, iron, you can use, I think, steel helmets, or not steel, iron helmets or iron boots. Neither of those I buy, though. <laughs> so you're going to have to track down the NPC for that one. That one would be in Revolve. Um, but for steel, the best experience is steel helmet. Or steel scimitars, if you have the logs, uh, uses willow. But the best coin would be steel full helmet. Now, I actually ran it through a calculator for all of this math. And yeah, that's, that's actually true. Um, coin per bar, it almost doubles over the steel helmet, even though we're really only adding one bar, you know? We're adding one bar and doubling the value of the end result. That's a pretty good, pretty good thing. Uh, here I'm showing a limited view of 20 to 40 forging so that we don't have all that stuff in the middle. There's iron watering cans. Um, I'm showing off iron here, but like there's also wings, there's scythe, there's gilded griffin. And again, iron, it really just bottoms out an iron, doesn't bounce back. You can also make a wooden harpoon, so there's that. Um, that's just forging. It's for logs. So many people pay out the nose for it. Um, make a note, you know, there's your gilded griffin armor. I think that's level like 60 defense. There's iron wings. Wings are a, a forging thing. Uh, there's the war scythe. I don't I don't actually really recommend iron wings. Uh, I'm not a big fan of them. Don't know why. No reason. But um, like the war scythe, I don't recommend the war scythe. Um, all right. So here we have um, my audio settings. I was kind of hoping you guys could help me out with this. I have no idea what I'm doing, um, to be honest, because this thing has no help. <laughs> It literally has no help. It's no help. Um, the noise gate is off. That's what I'm looking at. This is the noise gate. Um, specifically, I'm looking at these two, but all of this, really, any information would be great, guys. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, send me a whisper if you play, and uh, I'll probably invite you to at least my channel. Not whatever channel I'm hanging out in, or I'll at least tell you who to talk to about it. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my girl. Put me through a rough time there, girl. Peace.